Hi guys and welcome to Fire TV Sticks. A question I get asked a lot of the time is is it better to connect my Fire Stick to Wi-Fi or Ethernet? Today I'm going to test three things. One, my Fire Stick connected to my Wi-Fi. Two, my Fire Stick connected with an aftermarket Ethernet adapter. Three, my Fire Stick connected with the official Amazon Ethernet adapter. Everything that I'm using in this video, I will put links to buy them in the description below this video. Other questions I will answer for those of you who are new to using your Fire Stick is what is the difference between Wi-Fi and Ethernet? What is an Ethernet adapter? And why would you want to connect via an Ethernet adapter? So when you're ready, let's get started. If before or after this tutorial you are still experiencing issues, you can check out our previous tutorial where we look at other issues that may be affecting your Fire Stick and you can check that video out in the link above me now. The main reason to have a look at using an Ethernet adapter instead of your normal Wi-Fi would be if you are experiencing lag or buffering issues when trying to stream content online. This is a great cost-effective way to resolve slow speeds or an unstable Wi-Fi connection. So I'm just going to quickly show you the pieces of hardware that I'll be using in this video. The first is the official Amazon Ethernet adapter that looks just like this. This end connects to your Fire Stick. Then this end we have a place for your Ethernet adapter to go. And you also have a micro USB port for your power supply. Don't forget to make sure that it is connected to your power supply, as without it you won't get the power required. This is the aftermarket Ethernet adapter or unofficial. This end powers into your Fire Stick. Then you have a port on the end of it for your Ethernet adapter to go in. Then we have another wire which is USB and this connects to your power supply. And this adapter is universal. You don't just have to use it with your Fire Stick, you can use it with anything else. So what's the difference between connecting to my Wi-Fi or by Ethernet? When you connect to your Wi-Fi, you are doing so wirelessly. So because of this, you have to take into account several factors. The distance between your router and your Fire Stick. In simple terms, your Wi-Fi signal from your router has to travel to your Fire Stick. So the further away the router, the weaker the signal will be. We also have to think about where your router is in regards to your Fire Stick. If your router is in a cupboard and your Fire Stick is behind your TV, the signal is being blocked, so in turn this is weakening the signal even more. Are you connected to the 2.4GHz or 5GHz range? This isn't something that I'm going to go into loads of detail on, however modern routers can have more than one band and depending on which one you are connected to will also have an impact on your connection. For streaming, connecting to the 5GHz range is better. And finally, how many devices are connected to your Wi-Fi and how many other devices are around you? In my house, several devices are connected to my Wi-Fi, including a laptop, smartphones, my Fire Stick and my smart TV. Also, I live in a built-up area with houses all around me where other people are using their own Wi-Fi. So because of this, there are signals everywhere and this in turn can make all the signals interfere with each other. This can also create a weak signal. So what does this all mean to you? Well, it can create and be the cause of buffering, lag and intermittent internet. When you connect via Ethernet, you are connected via a cable, so everything we discussed above in regards to Wi-Fi isn't an issue. None of these issues can affect our internet connection, so in effect, the speeds may be the same, we'll find out in a little while, but the connection should be much more stable, hopefully making buffering and lag a thing of the past. So, with all that said, let's run some tests. Today, I'm going to be using an application called Analyti on my Fire Stick. It's really easy to use and you can get it directly from the Amazon store. So, from your home screen, you can either navigate to the search icon and search for speed test or you can use your Alexa voice remote. Speed test. Then select my results. 
So as I mentioned before, we're going to use the speed test Analyti. First, let's run a test on our Wi-Fi. And to make it fair, we should run each test three times in a row. So I'm going to click to select. So when I open Analyti up, it automatically starts running a speed test. At the top, it shows me that I'm connected currently via Wi-Fi. And as you can see on screen, by running my internet speed test for the first time, I've got a download speed of 42 megabits per second and 14 up. Now to make it fair, I'm going to run this test a further two times. So on each connection, I'll run the same test three times to get an average and make it fair. So as you can see, I've got quite different results each of these three times. These intermittent speeds over a short period of time could be what's causing me lag or buffering issues. So next, I'm going to connect the aftermarket or unofficial Ethernet adapter. So my aftermarket Ethernet adapter has all been connected back up and I ran my first speed test using Analyti. These are my results. I've got 93 megabits per second down and 38 up. And also when I click up, you can see the connection in the top left hand corner shows me that I'm connected via Ethernet. So now I'm going to run this test a further two times. So running this test again for a third and final time shows that I got the speeds around about the same as what I did before with 94 megabits per second down and 39 up. So this is a really consistent internet speed and is great for streaming without buffering or lag. Lastly, I'm going to connect the official Amazon Ethernet adapter. So with the official Amazon Ethernet adapter connected or hooked up, I ran my first speed test with Analyti. As you can see, again at the top, it says that my connection is through wired Ethernet and my download speed was 93 megabits per second and 40 up. So as with all the other times, I'm going to run this again twice. For me, I can see that connecting through a wired Ethernet adapter is much better. Not only was my connection more consistent and more stable than my Wi-Fi was, but I was also getting much greater speeds. So I found out today that both adapters are giving me the same consistent speeds, so it doesn't matter to me whether I use the official Amazon Ethernet adapter or the aftermarket unofficial one. So the one that I choose to go with is just going to go on a number of factors. How easy it is to set up and use and connect and also how it looks once it's connected, so I don't want lots of wires trailing around the place. It will also come down to a cost issue. The Amazon Ethernet adapter was slightly more expensive, so depending on my budget will depend which one I choose. So now that I've discussed the differences between Wi-Fi and Ethernet, why don't you give it a try for yourself and let us know how you got on. Now, as I mentioned earlier, everything I used in this video, all of the hardware, you can buy through Amazon. I have put links to both products in the description below this video, so if you do choose to go with these wired Ethernet options, then don't forget to click through these links as they help to support our channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel, turning on notifications so you can watch loads more great videos brought to you by Fire TV Sticks.